back to another episode of Brave News. Here's the latest. The ACT deadline has been extended until today. You will have to pay a, a late fee if you register after September 27th. Students, remember that the tardy bell rings at 7.50 a.m. Once you have four tardies, you will be put in ISD. The Lion King will be presented by TCHS Bravada on October 24th at 6.30 p.m., October 27th at 2 o'clock p.m., and October 28th at 6.30 p.m. Admission will be $10 for adults and $6 for students and children. Ex extra credit will be offered in several classes. Please make plans to attend. All ninth grade students will attend the Heads Festival at Northeast on Thursday, October 10th. It is a day-long event that showcases STEM programs. Permission forms are being distributed through the math department. However, if a student does not have a math class this semester, permission forms are available in the counselor's office. Permission forms must be returned by Thursday, October 3rd and may be turned into their math teacher or the counselor's office. On Friday, October 18th, seniors and graduating juniors will attend the Northeast Now event. It is a recruiting event that includes a tour of the campus. Permission forms may be picked up in the counselor's office or in Ms. Riley's room and should be returned by Wednesday, October 9th. There will be a pancake breakfast Saturday, 6 to 10 a.m. at the Food Depot. Donations only. The TCHS Most Beautiful Pageant will be held on Saturday, November 9th at 7 p.m. Any 9th to 12th grade girl interested in entering may pick up a form from Ms. Webb in room 230. Prom tickets are on sale for $40. See Ms. Puckett to buy your ticket before the price goes up. Football needs managers and someone to film the games on Friday nights. See Coach McKay if interested. On Monday, September 30th, Slow Pitch will play at Shannon. Volley volleyball will play at home against Ripley. On Thursday, October 3rd, volleyball will play at home against North Pontotoc. And Friday, October 4th, Football will play at Corinth. This week, we chose three students to give tips on how to survive high school. Riley, what's your best tip for surviving high school? Um, find your home. For example, like my home is a softball field, so just try to find a home that fits you. Emma, what is your best tip for surviving high school? Always bring snacks to class and stay caught up on your work. What is your best tip for surviving high school? For surviving high school, it'd be to like stay in the bathroom. You know, don't talk to anybody. Keep to yourself. No, I'm playing. Um, being friendly to everybody, going to the school functions, having school spirit, just being a part of the TC community. Thank you. 